What is up everybody? So I'm coming across looking at some videos and trying to find out, you know, you know, certain things I could probably, you know, take a look at. And I come across this one for this one the YouTuber name Viper Incar in in Arnie show. And I guess he put out compilations of the most electrifying man and all sports entertainment. As this video is is titled WWE The Rock Most Savage Moments. He is without a doubt the most electrifying man in all sports entertainment. He is the best of, wait no, that's Bret Hart. He is the Jabroni Beanie Pie Trailblazing, eyebrow raising, heart stopping, electrifying the crowd. So know your role and shut your mouth. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Can't do the, the tongue thing. Gotta work on the tongue, the little tongue action. Get it, tongue action from the hot swings. But anyway, why don't we just go ahead and stop flapping our little gums, as Stone Cold would say, and just stick to the, vi the video. Seems like to me, I guess this guy's a huge Randy Orton fan. See, I'm a punk fan of one. Happy birthday to Steph. Oh yeah, I remember that. You're a hoe with big breath. <laughs> that man beside you, your manager. Has twinkie tits. Twinkie tits. I remember that one. <laughs> Pull your pants down and prove to Kane that you're not a woman. <laughs> In other words, I'm talking about the winner of the match gets five minutes with your wife. No! Quite frankly, everybody's already had that. Yo, he was a destroy Stephanie McMahon, man, with those promos, man. He was destroy there with those damn promos, man. <laughs> Can I have your attention? Michael Cole, if you take one more step to that computer, I remember this. Slap the taste so far out of your mouth, you'll never get it back. You'll never get it back. Is that what you like? You like the Copa? Yeah. Well, Copa, your ass out of here, Jabroni. Beat it. Admit it, Lillian. You get wet. Yeah. <laughs> Inspiration. Yo, man, no one does it better than promo, as far as promo goes than The Rock. Rock is king, but I'm concerned. You are not be an asshole. <laughs> you are a shorthead, seven feet, five hundred pound piece, a steaming, stinking, gray A monkey crap. <laughs> Since you just want to find things, oh boy. Uh -oh. you go cool. ahead and find the penis Benoit claims he has. <laughs> Box looking like a drunk hobbit jack back. Drunk hobbit. <laughs> <Just to show laughs> drunk you, hobbit. No hard feelings. I want you to take the night off, Rock. Sorry, before you leave, before the Rock leaves. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I'll tell you one thing. Yeah, you'll slap. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute now. I make great damn good movies. I'm not making a Marine for Christ's sake. Yo, I remember me. <laughs> He made fun of yo man. He, he also destroyed John Cena too. From the start from the from the Hall of Fame speech when he was doing for his dad and his he was inducting his dad and his grandfather all the way to WrestleMania 29. Oh my god. The Rock was doing his part about putting your company out of business. <laughs> the man who said that quote, Lance Armstrong, he was full of crap and so are you. <laughs> a flying nun. A flying nun. It could be the rock and DX in a handicap match. It could be the rock and Stephanie in a stick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come on, man. He is a, he is a destroy Stephanie McMahon. I remember this vividly, man. Watching it from, you know, that day. Not in that time, that time was too small. But a couple years later, I started watching it. Rest in peace, China. Rest in peace, Owen Hart.
he would ever kiss a piece of trash like you. That's when he was half rock, he might be a half rock. <laughs> the coach. Oh, nobody cares about you. <laughs> I don't remember that. He used to destroy the coach too. You are. The rock will be the guy getting that ring, tighten his shoes, and whoop your ass. Oh. To say the least, the rock is something you're not undisputed <laughs> champion. So <laughs> shut up, bitch. <laughs> shut up, bitch. Commentators are laughing. Oh my god, man. Who is the green hell? Green hell.
like four years old, around three or four years old, I started watching wrestling. I, I got it from my dad and my uncle. And he used to watch The Rock laying the SmackDown on all their candy asses with his promos, man. And the best one for me is when he started destroying Stephanie McMahon, Triple H, and John Cena. Oh my God. Especially with John Cena. Now that, I was there. Those are the ones with Triple H and, and Stephanie McMahon. You know, I had to kind of, you know, go back to history, you know, a couple years down the, down the line when internet was internet, you know what I mean? When internet was popping and YouTube just started, you know, I was able to kind of go back in history before, you know, all the rules and everything applied started going a little bit too crazy. But while doing that, I was also, I think it was like around 2010, 2011, I started picking up with, you know, The Rock returning to WWE again and him just destroying John Cena, which I absolutely loved because I never liked John Cena. I actually did like John Cena when the when he came to Doctor of Thugonomics. But after that, after with all those little Fruity Pebble t-shirts and all the little things and he didn't want to turn heel, he refused to turn heel, although we would love him to turn heel, he didn't want to do it, so he just rather to shove it down our throats, and he just, and The Rock just nailed his ass, he just destroyed him, all of his promos, from the time he came back, all the way to WrestleMania 29, and even so then sometime from time to time, you know, but, oh my gosh, man, I love The Rock, he's one of my top three, I got I, and not in order, I got Austin, Taker, and The Rock. Easily. Hands down, man. Oh, man. So, what's your favorite Rock promo? Rock promo, or what was your favorite match of The Rock? In my opinion, the greatest match I've seen from The Rock, the best match I've seen with The Rock is obviously with him and Steve Austin. Or, not matches, well, uh, revivally. I can't say the, the word correctly. It's re revivally. Hope I'm saying it correctly. I know, I know the the caption on the English term is the subtitle is gonna be uh, all over the place, but you guys know what I mean. You know the the stuff he had with Stone Cold Steve Austin, his matches he had with Stone Cold Steve Austin, his matches he had with Triple H, and his matches he had with John Cena, and I almost forgot his matches with Mick Foley. No. Nobody, nobody talks much about, you know, Mick Foley as much for whatever reason. I don't know why. But, man, Mick Foley, he had really good matches. He had good matches with The Rock. He had good matches with The Undertaker. Even stuff in ECW and WCW. I mean, he had some decent matches. My best one is The Rock and, and Taker. Maybe because I'm a big fan of Taker. And, you know, that's just, that's just me. But, yeah. You know, Mick Foley and The Rock, especially at the Royal Rumble, at the I Quit match. If you haven't seen that match, I suggest you go back, go, go on to Peacock or YouTube, whatever you can find it, and watch that match back. The Rock versus Mankind, Royal Rumble 1999, and the I Quit match for the WWF then, which is now WWE Championship match. What a match it was, man. Woof! It was brutal. It was... It was nasty, I mean, it was all blood and gore, and whew, let's just face it, Mankind, he took an ass whooping of a lifetime, I'm just gonna leave it at that, and he actually talked about it on a documentary on the Beyond the Mat, which is a good documentary, by the way, uh, it was a really old documentary, but it was good, you know, because it talks about behind the scenes of what, what wrestlers go through day in and day out, and man, I gotta tell you, man. As I always said before, house off to the wrestlers, man, because it's not easy. You know, I dare anybody to tell me to say that it's easy for them because they're on the trampoline and all that bullshit and yeah, they all that they fake, which, you know, it is a show, but these people, they're doing their own stuff. And the ring, man, and I've seen the ring before. I, I, I've seen it many times in live, in person, and it's, it's, not, it's not what you guys think it is. I mean, it's something to be played with okay so and anybody that that's been a wrestler period would tell you that even if you're an independent wrestler you would know that so you know i got nothing but respect to the wrestlers even though i don't watch wwe as much or i don't watch AEW or impact or anything like that 
I still have respect for them because, man, they do this every day, day in and day out, 365 days a year. Who the hell can do that? USC's can't do that. Basketball players, they don't do that. They don't they don't play basketball every 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 year. Or three hundred or put it this way, three hundred and sixty five days a year. They don't you don't see them playing that that long. You see them have a you know, a couple months off and then they jump right back in. You know, football player, same thing, baseball player, same thing, UFC, same thing. You know what I mean? These guys are wrestlers, Phew, forget it, man. My ass all goes off to them, man. You know, that's just my opinion, you know, the way how, you know, I, you know, the, knowing how wrestling is, you know what I mean? So, anyway, so yeah, back to what I was saying. What is your favorite matches with The Rock? Let me know in the comment below. And if you enjoy this video, you can go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And make sure you guys click on the notification bell. So that way you guys can get more upcoming videos in the near future. And if there's any videos you guys want me to do a reaction or do a challenge, you can always just leave it on the comment section down below. And if you have any questions for me, you can leave it on the comment section as well. Or if you want it private, you can email me at greatendzone97 at gmail.com. The link will be, excuse me, the link will be in the description box. So that, so, you know, if you want to email me one on one and so no one can see your question, I will give you my best answer, I'll make a video and give you my humble advice slash opinion of what I think, what I think is the best way. So, with that said, if you smell what Lorenzo, no, let me start over. If you smell what Enzo is cooking, peace out.